What is up y'all? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. Today we are taking a quick break from fashion and I am sharing with you guys my pickups from the Sephora sale. Now if you guys are new to the Sephora sale, it does happen twice a year I believe. And depending on the level that you are at, how much money you spend with Sephora determines your level. I'm a VIB. There's a Rouge and I think Beauty Insider is the, the other one it determines how much of a discount you get off of your products. So, like I said, I'm a VIB, so I got 15% off of my cart, and my order came in, so I wanted to share with you guys what I got, some of my absolute favorites, and then some things that I am trying for the first time. So let's hop right in. All right, so we'll start with skincare. So, the Caudalie Vino Pure Toner. I die for this toner. I love this toner so much. Ever since I started using a few products in my skincare routine. My skin has been fantastic and this was one of the newer introductions to my routine. This is my fourth bottle of the Caudalie toner. This is the larger size that I got. I didn't even know it came in the larger size, but it does. I think this is $50 Canadian and then I got my discount on it, but I use this day and night. It goes pretty fast for me and I love it so, so much. I found that it was hard for me to find a good toner, so I found one and I'm not letting her go. Up next is The Ordinary, the nice niacinamide. I hope I'm saying that properly. This is a product I also added to my skincare routine at the same time I added the Caudalie toner. And so I'm not sure which one made the difference or if they all made the difference, but ever since I started using this with the combo of the toner, I have found that my skin is better. I don't break out randomly really anymore. I would say beforehand, I was breaking out every month around my, you know, the time of the month. I was hormonal and my skin would just break out and now it's very rare that happens for me. So I've been using this for, this is probably my third, third or fourth buy of this. So I use it every single day and I love it. I swear by it and it's very affordable. I believe it's like $12 and I, this is the larger size, if I'm not mistaken. Up next, this is the Dermalogica Circular Hydration Serum. This I haven't used yet, and I actually got this as a PR gift a couple weeks ago, but then I don't know where it went. I lost it. I might have accidentally recycled it. I'm not sure, but I do get a lot of PR that comes in, and I was so excited to use this because I really do love a like dewy, hydrated look in the spring, summer months. So, you know, this promises hydration and I never got a chance to use it, so this is a purchase that I'm excited to try. If you have used this, please let me know in the comments below how you found the product. Um, Dermalogica never really steers me wrong. Any of the products that I've ever used of theirs is, does what it's supposed to do. So I'm hoping this gives me that like glowy summer skin. We love that, we love that. So yes, I'm excited for this. I will update you guys on like Instagram how this goes as I use it but yeah okay last up does this count as skincare <laughs> so I made the switch to a natural deodorant peak pandemic so I'm gonna say sometime in 2020 um, I tried it once before and I just couldn't deal like it was not it for me but I also tried it the first time in in warmer climates I think it was summertime and that's just a terrible time to be trying to switch to natural I was gifted the Caudalie natural deodorant I believe in 2020 if I'm not mistaken or I had it from before and I didn't start using it until we were locked down because I was like whatever you know who's gonna smell me except for me and my husband poor guy and, and it was winter too so I made this switch and I absolutely love it I also really love eucalyptus and this the Caudalie one is eucalyptus and raisin scented I'm obsessed this is my second I think deodorant. Um, I did try another brand in between the Caudalie, so I, like I said, I got gifted this, and then I tried switched to a different brand with like a similar. Um, it was also eucalyptus, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't love it, so I just bought this over the Sephora sale, so I could go back to the Caudalie one, which I really enjoy. And uh, yeah, you know, if you're interested in going natural for deodorant, I highly suggest this. Okay, next up we have some makeup. Okay, so first up is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 16 Hour Skin Perfecting Powder Foundation. So, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I literally rave about the Bare Minerals powder. What is it called? Hold on. It's right here. It is the 
Mineral Veil Press Setting Powder. So I got gifted this in PR about a month ago, I think, but they just sent me colors that were way, way, way too dark for me. So I didn't get to try it. Um, I did try it actually one day, but the color was just like tanned me. And I mean like super summer coming back from vacation tanned me. So it looked crazy on me. Luckily I only wore it inside the house, but the formula was really good and it stayed all day. And that's what I loved about the, the powder. It's It literally stayed the entire day and my skin looked flawless at the end of the day. I was so impressed. So I'm very, very excited to try this in my actual shade. And I will let you guys know on Instagram if it's good, if it lives up to the, the pressed powder hype, because if it does, girls, I think I found what I'm going to be using in the summertime, okay? All right, up next is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. And I'm very, very excited about this, and full disclosure, I'm actually wearing it right now. So I picked up this package yesterday, and I'm wearing the concealer right now. So I've been having the hardest time finding a good concealer. I used the NARS concealer for years and years and years, and then I don't know what happened. Either my skin just doesn't like it anymore, or the formula changed, but it doesn't give the way it used to give for me. It over like a couple hours it'll start looking really dry and flaky so I can't use it anymore and it's so annoying because it was so good for so long and I had all my colors down. Anyways, since then I've been searching for a new concealer and I've tried I think four different ones. The best of the four has been the Pat McGrath one and I love Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath foundation, I, I will die on that hill. That is the best foundation for like your perfect skin. Like it looks like perfect skin. Anyways, so that one was the best one I've tried of the four, but I believe because I bought it during peak pandemic and like protocols at the malls, I couldn't color match properly. So that I tried to get the girl to color match for me, but it's it's still off, so I don't love it because of that. So I'm gonna wait until maybe the summertime when I'm a little bit more tanned. I think maybe it'll go with my complexion better, hopefully. Fingers crossed, because it wasn't cheap. And so I picked up the hourglass one. And I'm quite excited because one, I color matched properly <laughs> online <laughs> and I don't know how I did that. But I love the Vanish foundation so I was hoping that this was good and so far so good guys. I've been wearing this all day today and I, when I got it I color matched it on my hand and the texture was beautiful. The only thing I'll say about this is that this smell is not my favorite but it might be something that I'll get used to. Hopefully. Hopefully. So yeah, excited about this. Oh and this color is an apricot. Up next, now I didn't know and I'm so excited, but uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I work with Lee Swatier a lot um, and I love the brand. They're really great. They're Canadian. Love that about them. I haven't seen them in the Sephora stores, but I haven't really gone to the mall so, so often. When I was putting together my Sephora sale cards, I saw that they had this and this is my favorite lip oil ever. Let me just show you guys. I got two of them. But this is the lip oil, it looks like this. It's in the cantaloupe color and it's, I promise you, I've tried so many lip oils, I love lip oils. This is the best one. This is sheer, like it's a, it's that nudie sheer color. It's like your perfect nude nail color. You know when you go to the nail salon and they do like a French or something and the base color is just like this perfect nude color on everybody? This is that on literally everybody. This is like perfect kind of like pinky sheer but it's so light so it's not like too pink almost so it's like a it's a perfect nude truly I, I just there's nothing bad to say about it and it's not sticky it's an oil that is not sticky it just sits perfectly it doesn't like pool at the bottom you know some lip oils are so heavy or you put on a little bit but it pools at the bottom of your lip because of gravity it doesn't do that. It's just absolutely perfect. I love it so much. I buy it often. Um, so yeah, I typically will buy it off the Lisa Watier website, but because whatever, today I got discounts and it's on Sephora now. I picked up two of them, which I'm really stoked about. Okay, so that's it for makeup. And then last but not least, I got these, I can't even pronounce it. How do you say this? Kitsch, Kitsch, my Kitsch? These like coils, hair tie, hair coil things. As you can see, I have really, really long hair and I do put it up sometimes. 
and I hate the little kink that you get in your hair um, when you do put your hair in a ponytail but these don't give you that kink so I picked up the two packs there's like eight in a pack one clear one that's not really clear on my hair but the browns look nice in my hair so I got two of those and that was it for my Sephora shop um, I really picked up the things that I needed and, and not just like a, like a surplus of things that I didn't need, but I wanted to honorably mention a couple products that I just love, love, love so much. So first and foremost, it is the Pat McGrath foundation. This is the skin fetish. I think they only have the one foundation, but this, I promise you for light to medium coverage, you can build on it. It kind of gives you the perfect skin like it looks like your perfect skin day this is really the foundation that i use every single day i'll say what if i'm my skin is not doing the best i will use my hourglass vanish foundation which i love this is like it's halfway used already but this is for more of like full coverage when i want a full coverage which is truly rare for me those are just like the honorable mentions that I wanted to tell you guys. I always buy them over and over again, but I recently bought those and they're not low, so I didn't rebuy them for a Sephora sale. But yeah, that's it for me. That's what I bought for the Sephora sale. Let me know in the comments below what you guys bought. And the Sephora sale goes until the 11th, so guys, get to shopping. Get your discounts on the things you need, and I will see you next video.